Hello everyone. Welcome to your English class. The topic that we are going to do today is definitely very important for each one of you. So, watch the video carefully and learn about articles with me. Before we move on to understanding the meaning of articles, I would like to tell you that you commonly know articles as a and the. So, articles are words that define a noun as specific or unspecific. Articles combined with nouns to indicate the type of reference being made by the noun. An article is a word which is used to modify a noun, which is a person, place, object or an idea. So we can say that technically an article is an adjective, which is any word that modifies a noun. Usually adjectives modify nouns through description. But articles are used instead to point out or refer to nouns. And this is also why articles is not included in the parts of speech separately. You sometimes study articles under the heading determiners as well. As you can see here, articles are of two types, indefinite articles and definite articles. Indefinite articles are a and an and the is the definite article. So what is a definite article? Definite article is the word the and it refers directly to a specific noun or groups of nouns. It limits the meaning of a noun to one particular thing. The definite article can be used with singular, plural or uncountable nouns. For example, the freckles on my face, the alligator in the pond, the breakfast sandwich on my plate. In these examples, each noun or groups of nouns being referred to like freckles, alligator and breakfast sandwich is direct and specific. Indefinite articles are the words a and an. Each of these articles is used to refer to a noun but the noun being referred to is not a specific person, place, object or idea. It can in fact be any noun from a group of nouns. Let's look at these examples here. A Mercedes from the car lot. An event in history. In each case, the noun is not specific. The Mercedes could be any Mercedes car available for purchase. And the event could be any event in the history of the world. And we must also remember that indefinite articles takes two forms. It's the word a uh, when it precedes a word that begins with a consonant or a consonant sound you can say. And it's the word an when it precedes a word that begins with a vowel and you can also say a vowel sound. We must also remember that the indefinite article only appears with singular nouns. So, let's look at the basic concept of articles once again. Indefinite article A is used before words with begin with consonant sounds or consonants as I told you earlier. Look at these examples. He is a teacher. So the noun here is teacher, which begins with T and T is a consonant. I bought a new watch. I saw a bear at the zoo. And the 
indefinite article an is used before words which begin with vowel or vowel sounds. Look at these examples. He is an actor. The word actor is a noun here and it begins with a which is a vowel. She didn't get an invitation. I ate an apple. There are some exceptions while choosing a or an. The first letter of the word honor, for example, is a consonant, but it is unpronounced. In spite of its spelling, the word honor begins with a vowel sound and therefore we use an. Let's look at another example. My mother is an honest woman. Similarly, when the first letter of a word is a vowel but is pronounced with a consonant sound, use a. For example, she is a United States Senator. And this also holds true with acronyms and initials like an LCD display, a UK based company, an HR department, a URL, etc. Let's look at the use of definite articles in detail. We use definite article the when we speak of a particular person or thing or one already referred to. For example, the dress you want is out of stock. So here in this example, the speaker as well as the listener knows which dress is being referred to. So we use definite article the. When a singular noun is meant to represent a whole class, for example, the cow is a useful animal. Here the word cow is used to refer to the whole class. Two nouns, man and woman, used in a general sense to denote the whole class, never have either article. So this is an exception to the above rule. We don't say the man is a social animal. We always say man is a social animal. We use the with names of gulfs, rivers, seas, oceans, groups of islands and mountain ranges. For example, the Ganges is considered holy by the Hindus. We use the before the names of certain books, which are unique, you may say. For example, the Vedas, the Ramayana. But when we add a proper noun to it, we do not use the article. So we say Valmiki's Ramayana. We use the before common nouns which are names of things that are unique of their kind. For example, the sun, the sky, the moon, the earth. Before a proper noun only when it is qualified by an adjective or a defining adjectival clause. The great Caesar or the immortal Shakespeare. We use the before directions and before names of historical buildings, monuments and historical events. We use the with superlatives and ordinals. Superlatives are darkest, most beautiful, these forms. And ordinals are first, second, third, last, etc. Before musical instruments and before an adjective when the noun is understood. 
the poor are always with us and you also say he can play the guitar we use the before a noun to give the force of a superlative the verb is the word in a sentence here the word is used to lay emphasis as an adverb with comparatives the more the merrier the more they get the more they want let's move on to the use of indefinite articles in its original numerical sense of one both a and an are used with singular nouns to represent something that is one in number in the vague sense of a certain i came across a friend while walking in the park so you do not know which friend did you come across you are just mentioning a friend so it can be any friend so this is in vague sense in the sense of any to single out an individual as the representative of a class a dog is a loyal animal or to make a common noun of a proper noun a daniel come to judgment here the word daniel is not a proper noun it has rather been used as a common noun which means a very wise man now even though we know where to use each of these articles we must also know where we shouldn't use them so let's move on we do not use an article before a common noun used in its widest sense for example what kind of flower is it or we don't use an article before names of materials for example gold is a precious metal we use the before common nouns which are names of things that are unique of their kind for example the sun the sky the moon the earth we do not use an article before abstract noun used in a general sense for example honesty is the best policy there is an exception to the above rule an abstract noun when it is qualified by an adjective or an adjectival phrase or clause may have the article so the wisdom of solomon is famous we don't use articles before languages and before names of relations like father mother etc before school college when these are visited or used for their primary purpose my uncle is still in hospital the is used with these words when we refer to them as a definite place building or object rather than to the normal activity that goes on there so an exception to the above rule and let's look at the example i met him at the church you usually do not go uh, to the church to meet someone so this is not normal this is not a normal activity so that is why we've used an article here before predicative nouns denoting a unique position he was elected chairman of the board or mr mishra became principal of the college
then in certain phrases consisting of a transitive verb followed by its object and also in certain phrases consisting of a preposition followed by its object. We don't use articles in these conditions. Too many rules to remember, isn't it children? But don't worry, these are only for your knowledge. I've put across all these rules so that you know them. When you practice exercises based on these rules, you will slowly get the hang of the topic. You don't have to mug up all these. This is only for your understanding. Please watch the video again in case you have any doubts. Please get back to me. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.